All right, let's do Reddit, Call Competitive. Let's do Reddit, Zoom Mafia. And let's fucking do this shit, bro. Let's do this shit, all right? First things first. Let's keep it going, man. Nobody gives a fuck about the advertisement. The evolution of Optic. The evolution of Optic. Optic Gaming 2006. Optic Gaming Los Angeles 2019. Chicago Hudson 2019. Optic Chicago 2020. Optic Dallas. I mean, it's interesting, bro. You can see all the... The, the Huntsman just seems so out of place, bro. The Huntsman? I'm happy to see the Huntsman go. I like the Optic brand, you know? Like, the... I, I just think that the, they, the, the Optic brand, they need that. Can we all agree? Can we all agree on that? We got over a thousand people in here. Can we all agree that the fucking Optic... The, the Optic gaming logo, like the OG... I even like the new Dallas Optic logo. It's not bad. I like that. I like that. Hudson brand was low-key fire. I disagree. I wasn't a fan of it that much. I just felt like two, like, uh, axes were, like, didn't really, uh, uh symbolize much. It, it didn't make sense for me. I kind of liked, I kind of liked the, oh, the original stuff. The new logo looks pretty cool. I like how they incorporated the new, the, the star into the optic game. And, like, the, it looks cool to me. I'm excited to see if, if it actually is that. What is this? 1v2 rogue. Oh, this is a listener clutching up yesterday. Look, uh, Good play, a good play out of a listener here. He's going, rogue. He's, going rogue. he's going rogue, this fucking guy. He he, he won the game for them. A listener won the game for them. Look at this. The listener's making the absolute plays. Look at this. Look at this. Mr. Paul X. Unless he faces sick. Have a good day. Let's go back on board with a listener. Fantastic plays. He's going to take that another one. <laughs> hey, shout out to a listener, man. Hey, a listener, you're a fucking goat, bro. You're the fucking goat. Ace is back. Let me fucking let me see. Let me make sure this fucking thing. Ace is back, huh? What the fuck? Oh, check this out, Mr. Patty P himself, chat. Mr. Patty P himself is signing contracts. What do you think he's signing here, guys? What do you think Aix is signing? You think it's bait? It could be bait. It could be bait. He quote tweeted it. Oops, I didn't realize people were announcing they've signed to teams. I just got signed my new car insurance. And man, am I happy on the savings. Come on, Pat. What the fuck? What the fuck is this, Pat? It was for a fucking car? Get the fuck out of here, Pat, you motherfucker. I can understand why you guys get annoyed with the baiting shit. I can understand it now. I get it. Zuma announcement finally coming. I tweeted one of those fucking things, too. Mm -hmm. I tweeted one of the... Wow, I can't believe Aix, Doug, and Zuma are teaming together this year. Dude, chill. I already saw this. I was on this post before. I hope all this baiting shit is... I hope. Because all this baiting shit is, shit is getting annoying. Bro, it's getting annoying for me, too. You think I want to sit here and fucking bait every day? I do get into trolley moods when I bait, but I want to announce it just as much as you guys want to know. This guy goes, don't reply to me if it's LA Thieves. He's forcing me to bait. I said, stop baiting me into baiting. It's getting so annoying now. It's getting so annoying when people try and try and bait me into baiting. It really does get annoying. It really does. That was pretty good. Somebody said confirm, not LAT. Jesus Christ. Zuma spelled backwards is a uh, moose. And it's a moose time for him to fucking announce. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm going to be honest with you. 100% agree. Pros complain about the rosters getting leaked, but Crone basically saved us for months of every single pro banging on the TL hard. This shit with Zuma was so irritating. Couldn't imagine everyone in the CDL doing it. Thank you, Crone. Bro, you guys take the you guys take trolley baits like really seriously. <laughs> like, I don't think it's that big of a deal to be like, dude, he's so fucking annoying. I hate him. I hate this guy. Obviously, he didn't say I hate this guy, but I I see people getting really, really frustrated. And I haven't even baited the last couple of days. I stopped baiting. I stopped baiting because people were getting really annoyed by it. So I, I literally stopped. Sid responding to questions about his attitude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's take a look. On the Seattle Surge lineup, I think it raises a lot of questions because there's this question of ego attitude. I don't know exactly what you want to call it. I've heard, uh, I don't know, some issues of maybe immaturity, anger. Uh, pizza scoreboard, pizza scoreboard. Hey, hey. Uh, sip on top. Hey, your money. I ain't playing no games out here. Step <laughs> it up. You heard me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't. That's funny. Like, I, 
I don't really pay attention to it. I could care less. As cap. The legends have a bunch of haters. LeBron has a bunch of haters. Tom Brady, Kobe Bryant, they all had haters. Oh, Jesus. So what is he I talking think about? something that comes with being talented or just being really good at what you do. I mean, Sib, the reason why people are hating you is because you say a bunch of stupid shit. Not, not because you're fucking LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, or, or any of that shit, bro. The reason why people are roasting him is because of how he acts, not because of his talents. Obviously, he's very talented, and he is right about that. Talent does, you know, the more success, the more talent, whatever, the more haters you're going to get. But I think a lot of people are just talking about his attitude a little bit. He didn't do anything in this video. I mean, he didn't do anything bad. I mean, I think he definitely misunderstood the assignment. That's for sure. This guy's a fucking moron. But, I mean, shout out to Sib. Let's keep it moving. What were people... Oh, what people people got to be cooking him, dude. The hate on the... Sib on the Seattle Surge? The hate on LeBron and Brandy stems from their greatness. The hate you get, Sib, stems from your attitude and maturity level. That's the difference. He's so delusional. Did this kid just compare the hate he gets to the hate Brady and LeBron gets? I hope somebody humbles this fool next season. Ideally, Sim, so he could teabag and shoot his body while yelling at him across the stage. I don't think I've ever seen someone as dumb as this kid. Why is everybody so mean? Come on. He's a little fucked up. Okay, I get it. But he's fucking... Guy needs a, a guy needs a PR agent ASAP. Let me text him, bro. I'll be his PR agent. Let me fucking text him. Let me text this guy. Let me, let me say... I'm, I'm gonna say... Let's text him. I'm going to say... I haven't talked to him in a while, bro. I'm going to say, yo, you need a PR agent because you're an absolute moron. Let me know if you're interested. I'll take 10%. Okay, let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Yeah, LeBron Brady, Kobe, this and that, this and that, uh, no shot, this is real. Okay, we're just gonna move past that. It can real only mean one thing. Who do you guys think, what do you guys think Doug signed? You think he signed a car insurance? Oh, Jesus Christ. Chat, can you imagine? Chat, can you imagine if Doug out of nowhere just signed with Optic Dallas as like a content creator or something? That'd be pretty cool. And, you know, I always thought that about Doug. I'm surprised that Doug has never really, you know, signed anywhere to just do content. You know, be be one of those guys. Like, bro, you look at some of the people that are signing to some of these teams being content creators. You would think that Doug would be one of those guys, son. Unless Doug doesn't want to do that. He might not want to do that. He might just want to try and keep playing, you know? He might not want to sign a content creator contract because he wants to keep playing competitively. So, I don't really know. Humanity Thief, thank you for the six months. We got Shy Hawks with a seven months. We got J Rome with a five. And Savage Prawn with a three months. Thank you guys for the support, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love, man. Has anyone in here with over a 2.5 KD and 1K SPM? Every play in lobbies with under 80 ping. What? Has anyone in here with over a 2.5 KD and 1K SPM ever play in lobbies with under an 80 plus ping? Oh, uh, okay. That makes more sense. I didn't read Internet through my router said to connect only to the server in Dallas. You could do that. You could do that shit. You could you could say what server you want to connect to. What the fuck? It's official for Doug. We already saw this. Where do people think Doug is going? KC Pioneers must have re-signed and provided another sleeveless jersey. Oh Jesus Christ. You don't need to provide a sleeveless jersey because Doug's gonna cut the sleeves off anyway. I, I remember Doug in a hotel room with scissors cutting his sleeves off. It was, it was fucking incredible to see it live. It was incredible. Sorry, Simp. You had a good run on phase, but it's time for the dynasty to begin. Fucking Doug Sensor Martin. Backup cameraman for Wester? That's not right. Bro, I don't get all the hate on Doug. He's one of the nicest guys in the scene. Always has a positive attitude and always talks to his teammates up. Give him a break. We got him a bit delusional at times, but his heart is in the right place. His heart's in the right place. It is. It is. What is this? He's shady. Purposely wore a wire on a failed attempt to try out some fellow AMs over matches for pro points. He's all talk. The jet ski meme came from teammates calling him out for pretending to be ill, then being caught on Instagram riding a jet ski. We hear all this about what he wants to do, but in actual fact, behind closed doors, he isn't willing to put the time in. This whole I'd give anything YouTube persona he set up for himself is simply to finesse relevance for as long as possible without ever coming near. He is also 100% the worst kind of substitute to have. He would say he's doing everything to support the team, but in reality, we know he's calling the owners, telling them how much him starting could for, could be for the brand. He's in the ears of the players, talking down teammates, and throwing people under the bus so he can get his way. I think that's the way you don't really see him play with it. Anyway. 
Okay, interesting. I, I mean, listen, man. He's definitely made some mistakes in the past, okay? Maybe the, the day with the jet ski. Not sure what happened. It was one day out of the year, okay? Where he, he, he apparently told his teammates about uh being sick and he ended up on a fucking jet ski i don't know i don't live in doug's life if that's true who knows they might have dragged that story a little bit and they might have not i have no fucking idea i have no idea um in terms of the wire attempt i mean to be fair doug uh ended up not qualifying because he com he apparently cheated on getting some of his pro points so more than half of the people who got their pro points cheated as well so doug got penalized for something everybody else was doing and I think the wire was definitely a little fugaze. But at the same time, I could see why Doug was, was pissed off and wanted to get to the bottom of the truth. Because I felt Doug probably felt like he was mistreated. So I guess that makes a little bit of sense. In terms of uh, the substitute, every substitute in the league is trying to get on a, is trying to get on the starting roster. Zinni has said it multiple times on the flank. If you're a sub on a starting roster, it, it's bullshit. You, you want to see your team lose. You want to see them shit the bed so you can get a playing, uh, can get a, a time playing. That's how it goes, bro. That's how it is. Nobody, no substitute in the league is making enough money where they're okay sitting on the bench. Like they're not a professional NBA player who who might be making millions sitting on the bench. You know, they're making the minimum. They're sitting on the bench. They want to get in the game. They want to play and they want to show what they can do. And the problem is, is they can't show anything if they're on the bench. So of course, the substitute wants to get in the game of course so i mean i can understand why people are getting mad at doug for certain things but at the same time what are you gonna do what is this fucking dante dante responded he says i'm fucking broke bro what the fuck am i, uh, I uh, what the fuck you're broke you got money you just signed a fucking contract you just signed a fucking con how is he broke this fucking guy I got all the memes and stuff, but can y'all be happy for a man? Sure, he sounds delusional and shit, but he's generally nice guys and see us. Swear the subreddit hates anyone that is nice. Generally isn't right. It's kind of the fakest nice guys. Why people hate on him. This pretty much sums it up. It's official. I don't understand. I don't get it. All right, whatever. People are hating on Doug. Some people are, are supporting Doug. You know how it goes. Clay versus Karma. Oh, shit. The Clay versus Karma debacle. Oh, fuck. I think this is a fair debate that I never really see mentioned in our scene. I believe that Krim Scump are top two and Karma Clay fall right behind them. But who do you rank higher? Personally, over the last year, I moved Clay up to third over Damon. But I can see an argument for the opposite. I just believe the fact he's still playing at such a high level edges it out for me while Karma has uh, practically uh, retired for two years now, which doesn't take away from his achievements either, but both have pretty comparable careers in my opinion. One thing which is crazy that I've always wanted to see with these two team together, it's nuts how they have never have. Karma. Okay. No no claim to back it up. I'm biased because Karma was my favorite player, but I just think Karma was more impactful on whatever team he was on. I still think that in, in World War II, if they had Octane Scum, Karim, and kept Karma instead of getting meth, is that team could have made a run. That's not right. Why is, my, why is Tony always catching strays, bro? Hey, Chad, why is Tony always catching strays? Always. Always, bro. Jesus. I love Clay. Respect his longevity and his scoring ability, but I think he's still number four. He gets a win this title. Sure, he moves up, but not before then. Let me ask you this. Let's say Clay mentally wins champs and has four rigs. Does he pass Scump or no? Eh. He's number three behind Scump and Krim still. Nah, if Clay gets a fourth ring, bro, Clay's going number two. If Clay gets four rings, dude, four rings? If Clay gets four rings, he's going number two. He's got to go number two, bro. He has to. Four rings, y'all are still saying nah. I mean, I know, I know, rings are like not like the main argument factor, but I mean, four of them though. What if Simp gets three, bro? If Simp gets three, that boy's going straight to number one in no time. If Simp gets fucking three, we'll see how the year goes, man. There's no point of talking about hypotheticals and what could happen and this and that. Boom, boom, boom. Fuck that shit. We'll wait to see what happens. Pristini or TJ? With Pristini rumored to be the substitute for Atlanta Phase and TJ being part of the alleged DC team, does anyone think Pristini would be better than TJ? I genuinely don't know. I think I would rather have Pristini, but I know TJ and Zinni are close, and TJ has a high ceiling. I just worry about the lack of uh, any consistency last year. I think Pristini was in a rough spot in Seattle with their SG player issues. Just curious, people. Be it. To be honest, minus the friend stuff, I was surprised to see TJ on a stronger team than John after what we saw last season. Preston has at least shown sprouts of being good. Where is TJ's 11 and 0? Is the only good performance I can actually remember in the last two years. I don't think Preston, Preston and Vivid would work though. <laughs> yeah, I think the raw talent is better with Preston, but the fit would be tough. So that's not where I like TJ on that team. 
TJ is just consistently ass. Okay. Preston has a much bigger upside than TJ. He brings more to a team. You can't forget that this man has a ring and two top threes at champs. He was very good at landing Cold War 2. He deserves a spot. Do we know if he wants to play this season? Persini is way better than TJ, but Friendship League, uh, you know how it goes. People are still talking about this Friendship League stuff. Interesting. I thought that was in the past now. I guess not. Pristini is better, but TJ fits better with Vivi. You can't have two rogue subs. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't agree with having two rogue subs either. I feel like it's just going to be a fucking mess. It might be a fucking mess. And TJ will at least try and add some structure to it. You know, I feel like Vivid's kind of like the long route pincher, like kind of does weird shit around the map. TJ's going to have to be that one just playing fundamentally correct and just playing straight up. And I think they'll have a pretty good balance. They have similar issues. Persini has had trouble with Persini for quite... Yeah, TJ and Persini had the same issues, bro. They had the same issues. And then, uh, what, what's a good Reddit post without a nice little Fire 40 joke? Fire 40 over TJ shouldn't be near starting spawn on roster, especially when you have Nato sitting twiddling his thumbs. He's tight as a said. Hey! <sighs> what's going on with Nato? What's going on with Nato? Chad, no, he's playing challengers? That's it? I feel like Nato should be in there, no, chat? I feel like Nato should be in there. Peep his tweets. I know, I saw him tweeting about it, Chris, but I don't know. I don't know why, like, Nato's not getting a shot. It's weird. Hey, boys, uh, Chuck, thank you guys for the, for the resubs, man. Debo, thank you for the two months. Pete, thank you for the four months. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you for all the support, guys. Thank you for the resubs. Welcome back to the family. Prim6 is the best personality in the COD scene. And this guy has me in stitches every time he talks. His flank appearances are legendary. I only wish I could get more Crim content. His old YouTube inches were hilarious. What's going on, you Siberian alpacas? Like, huh? What's up, you fucking Chilean war warhogs? What the fuck are those? Krim is comedy. Krim, Krim fucking posted something about me. He, look at this shit. Look. Watch this, chat. Watch this shit. Alright, guys. This... Tommy Paparato, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> fucking uh, leave me right when I join you, fucking coward. Fuck you, Tommy. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Yo, fucking Crim 6, bro. Fucking Crim 6. What a fucking moron, bro. Hey, Crim6 is a good personality in the scene, though. He is, a, he is a good personality. He is. I mean, Crim is just like, he's not afraid to say whatever the fuck is on his mind. And I think that's important, bro. I think it's hard to find shit like that. It's it's hard to find somebody who's very out there and just doesn't give a fuck. and just says whatever's on their mind. and doesn't care about all the bullshit that comes after it. You know, and I kind of respect that. I like that. I like that a lot. What a fucking animal, man. We got Extinction coming in with a five months. I appreciate you, bro. The Dolphin Legend. The Dolphin Legend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened. He was shooting at me the whole time. I literally, dude, I dropped my controller, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Engage mode. <laughs> Bro, that laugh, dude, that laugh. That fucking laugh is goaded, dude. That shit is goaded. It do be like that, though. I'm scared to click on this. Let's click on it anyway. Sib on his keyboard when he gets back to mom's house. Sib IRL on the flank. <laughs> I mean, Sib was, Sib was cool on the flank. Sib was chilling on the flank. And Sib, Sib, was, Sib was just fucking chilling the fuck out. We'll see. Well, I think once, once, hopefully Sib can, can get himself in front of the camera more and do stuff more to like... Kind of put his personality out there a little bit more. I definitely think he has some growing up to do. Um, and hopefully that happens, bro. You be, let's be patient with him. Or at least I am. But hopefully... Oh, Lamar has a lot of work to do. Lamar has a lot of fucking work to do. That's for sure. But we'll see. And that's the point. Oh, uh, yeah. You're probably right. That's a Luma. Hey, man. Listen. I, I, I just don't like seeing people get roasted all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I... Uh, because I know... I know... I know people personally. And I know some of the shit that they go through. You know? So... 
um you know i want to i want to see them i want to see him grow up you know i want to see him grow up and do good things i really do so i mean i'm, I'm sorry for trying to be positive you know don't don't take I, I, and people get mad at me like why does tommy always support sib and this and that i don't agree with what sib does half the time i don't but at the same time like when i was 18 i was pretty out there i'm not gonna lie and luckily for me things weren't how they were in the in the day like back in the day things were just a lot of people let a lot of shit slide back in the day where things are a little bit different now and i think dante's just getting he's not handling it well and i think over time maybe he'll be able to handle it a little bit better so we'll see we'll see but he reminds me of you at that age yeah mama i was fucking nuts i was nuts and i'm still a little fucked in the head sometimes but I, I, I chat even with Doug and with Sib and with all these guys. I just hate seeing people get roasted all the time, you know. Now, granted, it's probably deserved for some things, but um, that's why I don't like to talk about it much. So, you know, we'll see what happens, man. He has a he has a year in front of him. He gets a shot. He's gonna be teaming with Lamar. Uh, maybe Lamar can can help him out, and you know, as as he matures and grows up, uh, I'm sure it'll he'll go a long way. Hopefully, if not, then that's on him. You know, he needs he needs to change his ways. What is this? Per the flank, Optic wanted Cami. Do you think he had been a replacement for Ilya on the Dallas Optic roster and a direct replacement for Formal on Chicago? I'm pretty sure they were going to move Dashi to main AR anyway, so they would have been looking for a flex since they were dropping Formal. It has to be pre-merger. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure it was pre-merger. I'm pretty sure it was pre-merger, guys. It was pre-merger, uh, like when Formal was stepping back. and that, Yeah, it was pretty much what that first guy said. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. C6 reference about Envoy. What was Krim referring to on a flank when Envoy was about up as possible stuff for New York, but he went on to say Envoy had been sipping a bit too much on the juice and proceeded to do his goat chuckle. Excuse my ignorance in advance. Uh, he's talking about the 100 Thieves juice, no? That's what I thought he was talking about. Just like the LA Thieves, like the colors and stuff. I thought he was just talking about that. I'm not saying this is exactly what he meant, but it took it as Envoy like the Cloud Optic has and wanted that again, so he went with the team with the most similar approach. Krim also went on to say how he did like the idea of teaming with Envoy, but knew he wasn't going to get the call from Nade Shot. I get what, what I guess I guess fucking Nade Shot didn't want Krim six. Probably the fact that he wants uh, that he was uh, the Optic Juice fans. Attention. Yeah, everybody's kind of on that. That's kind of what I got from it. Like the juice, like the LA Thieves juice, the clout. Feudive's my favorite COD pro. Feudive really wants that Optic spot. I feel like he's definitely good enough for Optic, even though he got beat by them. Uh, Feudive is Feudive's a Warzone. He's a Warzone guy, right, chat? He's a Warzone guy. Yo, Sean Cassidy. We got Illusions. We got Bone with a tier one. Thank you for the tier one, Bone. Welcome to the family, my guy. Extinction, thank you for the five months. I appreciate it, man. Always love when Mama Zuma's in the chat, too. Can we get a Wama Zuma in the chat and show Mama Zuma some love? I miss you, Mama. What do you guys think of, the, of this guy's Optic Dallas logo redesign? Let's check this shit out. The Optic Dallas logo just got leaked, and it's pretty controversial right now because people are blowing it up on Twitter whether they like it or not, and a lot of people don't. I feel like they were heading in the right direction. They have a Star 4 Dallas, and they have the old Optic O. But I feel like they could have gone just a little bit further to make it better. I'm going to try to take this logo and clean it up a little bit. I feel like the logo was just right there. But if they extended the star out just a little bit to go over the top part of the O, then it would have made a D for Dallas. Ooh. Also, I think the star stroke was a little bit unnecessary. And you'd actually use that same spacing for negative space to separate the star. Okay, that's better, bro. That looks better. That looks better. From the O, or in this case, the D. So the Optic Dallas logo just got... See, that's what I was telling my mom yesterday. I don't know if Mama Zuma is still in the chat right now, but I was telling my mom to say, I said, I like the logo. I do. I actually fuck with the Optic Dallas logo, but it does look a little bit awkward. It's going to take some getting used to. I feel like the way they incorporated the star in the O could have been done in a little bit of a cleaner and sleeker way. Um, Because it just, it looks a little awkward at times. I still like it. I like the logo. Um, but I do like what this guy did with it. What this guy did with it is, is actually, in my opinion, looks good. Listen, I'm a graphic design major, man. I have OCD with a lot of stuff. Like, so, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very picky when it comes to logos and shit. But I do like what he did here. Just a little bit to go over the top part of the O, then it wouldn't... Like, that looks clean. Like, that looks fucking fire. I actually fuck with that. I fuck with that a lot. That's cool as fuck. Mm -mm. You got your major? No, I, I majored in graphic design. I went to school. I went to college for two years for graphic design, but I ended up fucking dropping out of that bitch. 
But that looks cool. I like that. Let's see what people are saying. Let's not start this again. I prefer to look at his, but it needs to be an O, not a D. Optic is a draw. Legacy here, not Dallas. It is an O. I, I thought it was an O, too. I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do. Regardless, man, regardless, the logo is dope. Like, no, like that looks cool anyway. Like, I think that looks cool. I think some people are going to be really picky with it because that's how people always are. But that looks fire, man. That looks fire. Like, I fuck with that. You get more of the O2 with this. Like, with with this design, you get more. Like, the other design that he showed kind of cut half the O. So, it made it look like, you know, it didn't, it made it look not really much like an O. I can see that. There's so many. Everybody's going to have different opinions when it comes to logos, man. Everybody. Everybody. Pristini, Bay or Intel? Absolutely hope it's Intel. Love seeing him play. Suffer face is my guess. Makes sense. Face know that they can... Can't beat him on land, so they put him on the payroll instead. That's a high IQ roster move. I wouldn't doubt it if he was if he was a sub is that the rumor chat that Pristini is going to Atlanta phase as a substitute? Did Crone say that? Is that the rumor? Was that the rumor? It's rumored? No. I just saw some people talking about it. I saw some people talking about it. It's not bad. It's a Twitter rumor? Oh, okay. Is the Optic Empire thing even a merge? No. It's not a merge. Seems like it's an acquisition rather than a merge. I don't even know what's going on at this point. People say Envy owns Optic, and then there is another post saying Hex still owns Optic, but then Envy owned the brand. I'm just tired. <laughs> this guy's sick of this shit. This guy said, I'm just fucking tired of this shit. I'm over it. I, I think everybody's over it. I, I, I think, but the thing is, bro, is like the fans talk about Bates, 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 but I mean, if you look at the Reddit, I mean, all we've been taught, all the, you know, all the, you guys have been talking about it, is the baits and the rumors and stuff like that. I know the baits can get kind of annoying, but good things like this take time, man. And that goes for my announcement, too. You know, the announcement's a big announcement. They want to do it right. They want to take their time with it. And in the meantime, I understand that I, sometimes I, I overdo with the baits. I'm just trying to have fun and trying to make people laugh, bro. If I overdo with the baits, I really do apologize. I really do ap apologize. I'm not... That's why I said the last couple days, I haven't baited at all. I haven't said anything. I haven't done anything dumb. Um, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's not a merge, and hopefully we can get some more information out once it's released. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just gonna call it a merge, because that's what the rumors are calling it. And we'll see what happens, because I'm, I'm really confused about it. I'm confused about it as well. Will Vanguard have dedicated servers like MW? Probably. Sid being weird, part 9 th million, 19 million. They love being buddy buddy once you entertain them. Shit's crazy out here. Nah, no bullshit. I saw Gersh IRL. Fool said he was trolling on Twitter. No beef. Laugh my ass up. Boy, get your ass out my face. The fuck did I ever do? Gersh said, LOL, what happened? No shot. This is what he's mad about. Literally an honest mistake because he used to go by, the na by that name. I guess Gersh called him siblings, right? Gersh called him siblings. He wanted to be called Sib. So they started bitching. Him and Lamar throwing hands by the end of the season 100%. <laughs> Lamar don't play that shit. Hey, my man Lamar and Sib are gonna be going at it, bro. <laughs> They're gonna be going at it. Their gamers are probably talking shit on Twitter and keep quiet when they see each other IRL. The guy is 0 out of 10 in conflict resolution. 99 gunnies, 0 communication. It's crazy how mature he is. Someone cue that Joel guy to defend Sib. Hey, Joel, look, you made it to Reddit. Joel, you fucking made it, bro. Listen, man, I'm over to drama. I don't agree with some of the shit Sid be doing and how he acts, bro. I really don't. Um, I will continue to fucking cook him and roast him. I, bro, I've had straight up 1v1, like, honest, serious conversations with Dante. And if he doesn't want to take my advice, that's on him, bro. But, whatever. Prim tells everyone who his favorite ex-teammate is. Teammate. That's a stupid fucking question. After I'm done teaming with people, fuck you, you're the enemy. No. Oh, okay, so you don't like anybody. <laughs> the opposite. Team of people, fuck you, you're the enemy. No. Oh, okay, so you don't like anybody. <laughs> the opposite of it. Okay, so you fucking, fucking so you fake, you fucking hate everybody. <laughs> now you have bad blow with every single team you you no longer team with. That's why. <laughs> fucking Porter, bro. Alpha, Lee, my set, love this fucking guy. But I wonder who his favorite ex teammate is. Has to be either Karma or Early. He mentioned Karma, Eggs, TP, yeah. Let me mention those guys. Of course, it's those guys. Pristini. 
What is this? I, re I really feel like my guy deserves a spot somewhere in the league. To be honest, people shit on how he's done over the past two years, but I think he wasn't the problem on any of the teams he's been on. Bro came in and revamped the Huntsman and MW, and it wasn't his fault that Seattle was too stingy to buy their core a fort that was decent. Mm, one thing I was surprised about, probably changed the side W3 Blogs Sports. He was very reasonable and a quick learner. Seems to be active in discussing scrims and watching VODs and not brain dead player, at least the past two years. For that reason alone, I would pick him over some AMs. Christini is better than Desi, TJ, and Temp, who all got starting spots, and he's honestly got a higher ceiling than a guy like Havoc. But truthfully, I just want Christini to be happy. The Sanderson's in my favorite. I want Pristine to be happy, man. Whatever, whatever. I, I agree. I just want Pristine to be happy. I want to be doing something that he enjoys to do. I want to see him, you know, doing well. Because, you know, Pristine, man, he's an emotional guy. He's got a big heart. He cares about a, a, a lot of shit, bro. And, and sometimes when you have a big heart, it does you more harm than good, man. I just want to see Pristine, you know, fucking get out there and have some fun, man. And enjoy himself and live life and be happy. And, you know, life's too short, man. Life's too short. So as long as he's happy, bro. I was scrolling through Twitch and saw him streaming with 6k viewers, 21k subs. When and how did he blow up? I only remember him from Cockcasting, so seeing this is strange. After Courage making the leap to full-time content creation looks uh, looks like all worked out better for him, too. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, you guys didn't know that Rich Campbell is fucking massive now? Rich Campbell is huge. He's huge. Chat, he started doing the World of Warcraft streams. He started doing, like, World of Warcraft shit. Um, and, I, and he's he's been playing with some big name people, bro. Like, he's been doing his fucking thing. He's very good friends with the OTK guys and has been appearing on their streams for a while now. His clips usually end up on LSF often. What's LSF? Isn't he a part owner of OTK? Yeah, one of the co-founders. No, Rich is doing his thing. He's doing his fucking thing, bro. Rich knows what he's doing. He's a smart guy. I was in his chat the other night. I was literally in his chat the other night, chat. We all know there's only one real owner of Optic. We saw this with fucking Patty P. Look at this, bro. Chad, that's a good... Hey, Chad, this is a top-tier fucking meme, dude. This is a top-tier fucking meme. Look at this shit. This is comedy, bro. This is fucking comedy. Anthony, thank you for the 10 months, Anthony. Perfection, Mr. Patty P. That's good stuff. I know a lot of people probably showing him love. Which pro is the first to get benched in Vanguard? Oh, shit. Chad, Chad, if you had a guess... Who's the first pro to get benched in Vanguard? If you had to take a guess. If you had to take a guess, maybe we should ask Cap. Damn, that's fucked up. TJ. Oh, shit. TJ Temperfellow. Decimate Swifty Fall by TJ Sibilance. Simp. What the fuck? Someone for Yeez on Florida. Don't know who. Havoc and Dave Patty. Sib and TJ. Okay. It seems like Methods. We got somebody here saying Methods. Isn't he always catching strays, bro? I don't know. We'll see, bro. We'll see. This shit, a lot of people, bro, TJ has not been having the best reputation as of late. Huh. Everybody's always cooking my man T-squared, bro. Everybody's always cooking him. The last time Envy and Optic merged. Look at this shit. Look at this. That's crazy, bro. Look how fucking young everybody was. Look at these guys. Little babies. Atlanta face sign main tank extraordinaire and grand final is Gator. I didn't understand man, that. And the first time was so nice. I had to do it twice. I like that. Crazy man, three rings, but Optic has three requirements. That's good. That's good. I never heard that shit. I never heard that shit. Look at you. You're trying to recruit for the next. Zuma finding players via sub base to own a challenges team. No, I am. I'm thinking about it. I was thinking about paying a team a salary this year. Like, it won't be much, but it'll be a salary they can play challengers. We'll literally call it, like, the Stallions. You know what I'm saying? And we'll fucking... I'll make a challengers team, and I'll just keep up with them throughout the weeks and see how they're doing. And I can get some coaches, man. I kind of like that idea. And some of my mods want to be the coaches of the team. You know, we can, we can see how it goes. <clears throat> But the, the problem is, man, is, like, we want the Challengers team to win. So, like, we'll be making cuts We'll be, if, if it's not working, you know. And if we can find four yeah, really... Yeah, you'd be, like, the little GM of your own team. Bro, if we, see four, if we find four really, really good fucking guys, dude, like, it, that would be sick. You know what I'm Wait, saying? Wait, that is fucking a dope ass... That's, like, uh, like Pomage, like, sponsors, like, a hockey team, like, where he's from in Canada. Yeah. That kind of, like, reminds me of that. Yeah, yeah, I, bro. And, and listen, man, I don't know if somebody wants to clip that and put it on Reddit. Yeah, bro. I'm fucking... Chat, what do you think about that idea? Chat, uh, one, okay, one out of ten. One, 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 one right? being no, fucking am, dirt shit. Ten being really good. You think it's a good idea or you think it's stupid? That's actually a really, really fucking fun idea. Do watch parties at their games. 
Gotta hand it to Zuma. He's really innovating in the contest side. Would love to see something like this out of the streamers. Can't find to the CDL, so put your brand on the challengers team. Imagine guys like TP or Shroud promoting themselves through an AM team would be pretty cool. Only if there was an EU team, I would literally play for free. Better be giving a listener a call straight away. A, li a listener actually is a fucking animal, bro. Got a listener player that he was casting a few days ago. Is a beast. Dude really stood out amongst everybody. And Rise, a good shout. Bro, all those guys, man. Sync, Rise, fucking uh, Limbs. Oh, oh, bro, that whole team. That whole entire team was good. Zuma has done so much for the scene and continues to do so with a great individual. Thank you, man. Thank you, Knightley. I appreciate that. Thank you for the, su for the support. I've never been interested in watching challenges, but I would 100% watch every match of that team. Mm -mm. I don't know. We, uh, bro, it's something I'm definitely... About it. I was thinking about... I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about it, chat, for sure. Like, without a doubt. I saw this selling fucking... This whole fucking meme shit. I still don't get it. Coach Cap coming for throats today. Jesus, Cap, do some... Oh, look. The captain of last year's worst control team in the league decided to chime in. Didn't you get thunderclapped out of the league for stomping... For stopping point sixes? And in two years I've been out of you... I've, I've been out. You haven't gotten any closer to me on that prize money list. Yo, yo, woke up hella hostile today. Get a grip. Aren't they in the same team? Aren't these guys teaming together? Hopefully this is the year of Cap finally subs himself in and shows all these kids what he's really about. Cap, he has a family. Motherfucker just want me to on the TL. These guys are fucking teaming and they're roasting each other on the timeline. Okay, I, I, I like it. Fuck it. Octane's gonna get benched in the first week. You're right, Big Clip. This guy's gonna get fucking benched right away. Jesus Christ. A post that clears things up for whoever is curious. Nice to finally have a full explanation on it. Hector does own Optic, contrary to some beliefs. Okay. Well, that looks too long. Where is Zuma going? Oh, dude, I hate these posts so much, bro. I think Tom would have already announced if he signed with 100 to your face, but maybe he's waiting for the Optic Dallas announcement so he can make his own announcement. Maybe not. We'll see how the way to flank would be the favorite stream to watch. Potato wedges. Potato wedges is okay. I think it's phase. It's seen that hardly been baiting. 100% phase, to be honest. I didn't think this, but no way they beat Optic this much and it ends up being them. LOL. Why not? 200 IQ play, no? 200 IQ play. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll wait and see. I don't want to talk about it because if I say start trolling or baiting, I'm going to have a post on Reddit how Zuma's annoying as fuck. Draza's ranked the 20th best player in Cold War. Okay, congratulations. He should have started him from the jump last season. Time start over the guy at the beginning of the season. Shame we never saw Slash or Kenny Hook. I mean, to be fair, I mean, Draza didn't really... I mean, Donnie started over Draza, but in the beginning of the season, Draza's stock wasn't where it's at now. Draza proved himself when he got the opportunity. Average age of every CDL team. Okay, let's see. Seattle Surge 20, 21 for Atlanta Phase, 21.20 through London, 21 Demon, Florida 21, Los Angeles 21, Optic Dallas 22, Toronto Ultra 22, Minnesota Rocker 22 and a half, Los Angeles Gorillas 23, Mono, Paris Legion 23.5, New York Subline is the oldest team at 23.75. That's fucked up. TJ only being a year older than Abizzi's insane man has been on the scene since before stopping power. Hook only being 21 is... Yeah, bro, the fact that Hook is only 21 makes no sense to me, bro. The fact that Hook is only 21 makes absolutely no sense, dude. The Optic brand's first three years of the CDL. <laughs> There's so many memes, bro. We saw this. Okay, we caught up. I think we caught up. Somebody told me to refresh Reddit because apparently there was more... There's another post on here. Let's see. Let's refresh. Mm, Empire says goodbye to fellow... Oh, no. Today, we bid farewell to a reliable and dedicated player. Fellow, thank you for stepping up and filling big shoes when needed, as well as providing tactical insight to the team throughout the year. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors. There you go. Fellow, he got his tweet. Wasn't Fellow, he wasn't fellow talking about... Wasn't Fellow talking about how he didn't get a release tweet or some shit? So, at least they got something out there. You know, at least they got something out there for the kid. And I wish Fellow the best of luck, man. He's rumored to go on to that Paris roster, so let's see if that happens. Uh, Scum talking about the future team on the MW engine. How we did last time, where it was like MW, then Cold War, then back to the MW uh -huh. engine. We got two years on the MW engine. Because, like back yeah. to back coming up? Yeah. That's what, that's what. I mean, shit, we're fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're fine with that. <laughs> yeah. You run it back. Just because apparently, uh, actually, the next cop. Interesting. Interesting. Why would he be so excited about the MW engine? 
You know? Scumpy, Scumpy don't give a fuck for one. The engine don't matter. Scumpy's a beast no matter what he's playing. Watch the podcast? How long is it? Champs rewatch. With the offseason in full bloom, competitive COD content has died down. Having no games to watch for the next two months has me down bad, not gonna lie. And I've been thinking about how going through these champs and rewatching them to pass the time. If you guys are interested, how about we do a subreddit rewatch? Kind of like how other subreddits do show rewatches except for each champ starting with. Not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, bro. I, content has been slow, though, for sure. Dude. It's the off season, bro. So, you know, the only content is over here at twitch.tv slash Zuma. How you doing? Make sure to hit that follow button, bro. We got gun sticks coming in with a gifted sub. Appreciate that, bro. Let's go over to the Zuma off your Reddit and see what the fuck's going on here. Zuma is the best way to end start. Make your day. I live in Asia and I have to stay up till 3 a.m. usually to watch Tomas' streams. I sometimes think about sleeping early so I make it to class at time, but forget about it. Zuma off your graded in school. Tomas makes my day every night as I fall asleep to his lovely screams and EDM. P.S. Shout out vowels for the VODs and clips. Hey, I appreciate the kind words, man. Thank you so much, bro. My man, Jamie. Make sure to show Jamie some love. That's crazy that you live in Asia, bro. Got people all over the world watching the streams, bro, which is unfucking believable man. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the kind words in the post, bro. Optic Brand is watering down. We have now seen three different iterations of the Optic brand in the first three years of the CDL, both in branding and location. The org that's supposed to be leading the way in growth for the league is switching up, and it's really going to show when Scump retires. Orgs like Ultra and NYSL have done a great job reaching out to their local markets and creating continuity within those markets, while Optic has done the opposite. While the Optic Dallas merger could be at the end of that, it's just as likely that a falling out happens and they start all over again, not to mention the fact that we had lost the org with the best branding in Empire, the original CDL champs. Now they merge. It's almost as if it's too consolidated and it's not really as beneficial for the league as it may seem. Optic and Dallas should have been the two brands leading the way for the CDL. But one is gone and the other changes their structure every year. Not too happy with it. Um, I, 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 I get that. Refresh one more time. Please just post it. I will, Ballistic. I got you, bro. Um, I, I, I don't think it's watering down. I don't think it's watering down. I feel like Optic, yeah, they, they've been changing it up a lot. But in terms of, like, what Optic is, like, the Optic fans, like, are pretty loyal. Like, the niche that Optic has, like, I just don't see that going anywhere. Like, even, even bro, I mean, just look at the viewers, bro. When Optic plays on the mainstream, I mean, that's when things are popping the most, you know? So, it makes sense. I get what you're saying, but I don't think it's watering down. I think that might be a little an exaggeration. It's definitely, they definitely haven't handled it the best, but I don't think it's going anywhere. That's for sure. I don't think it's going anywhere. Let's refresh. You want me to refresh this? Inder Barber Leaks Intel. Cleaned up my dog, Illy Inder, for his new venture. The Dallas Empire Optic Gaming. Wait, no way. The Dallas Empire out the game. <laughs> Did the fucking barber just give it away? Did the barber just give it away? Nah, there's no way the barber just did that, right? The barber just... Uh, Ender, hey, m hold on a second. Hold on. Ender's looking good, for one. Ender's looking like a million dollars, okay? He's looking good, chat. Second off, there's no shot the barber just gave it away. Out of everything that could have happened after every... Uh, it's fake? No, it's gotta be... This has gotta be fake. There's no way. Is this fake? Are you guys fucking with me? It's gotta be fake, bro. That's gotta be fake, dude. There's no way. There's no shot. He looks fresh as fuck? No, he does. It's a nice haircut. I like that. The barber did him good, man. The barber did him good. Officer John. Nah, nah, you fucking beast, Officer John. Nah, nah. Wait, wait, I actually sound like him. Hold on. Wait, I actually sound like Officer John. Come on, man. <laughs> that was an accident, man. Nah, he's too no. deep. He's too deep, bro. He's too deep. At least he tried. From here on out, I will no longer rip the pump bar. Hashtag quit the vape, dude. Well, I think one's gonna... Several days later. They're fucking moderating Clay's chat and making sure people were getting out of line when they were arguing Clay versus yeah. Formal on AW. He, he was that mod. You, no, you motherfuckers. You no, motherfuckers. Man, fuck y'all, man. What the fuck is this shit? But what the hell, but? <laughs> <laughs> Literally the next day, hey, literally the next fuck. You guys are fucked up, bro. You guys are assholes, man. Let me rock, bro. Can resolve this without me putting... is comedy. Wait, is Basharam back in the city? Is he back in the city, bro? No way. 
can resolve this without me putting a fucking bullet right I through her bucket head. Her first. Uh, what is your what name, chilled lady? Man. My name is Betty, sir. I do not like your friends. Can you tell them to go away? Oh, no, Betty, I tell you this right now. Do you know what a bindi is? No, I sir, do not. it is a cultural thing in India where I am from, okay? It is when you put a red dot in the middle of your forehead, okay? Inshallah, okay. I put one in yours if you don't start showing some respect to my boss men here and family. Do you understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> I mean, they disrespected me first. I'm just defending myself. Uh, you know, they could come off rude, but it, so it's all in away, good pussy. spirit. Put that shit away. We're having or a conversation. Or watch your motherfucking tone doggy bone. Huh? How dare you raise your voice like that? <laughs> Ty? I do what I want, man. Do what you have to do, Ty. Don't miss! Now I'll do it myself. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's everywhere, Ty. You're Betty. supposed to do a clean shot. It's all over my fucking suit. The head. It's all over oh. my god. Uh, Jesus Christ. Hey, chat, how was GTA last night? How was it, bro? Was it good? I saw that the that banks are working now. We gotta rob some banks tonight. Chat, tonight we're gonna rob a bank. We're gonna rob a bank tonight. If you guys are down, I'm down to rob a fuck because I saw Tony was robbing one last night. And there, I saw, I heard the alarms going off and shit. I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. The, I didn't even know that shit was up. Aiden was uh, was on the server as well. Oh, that's dope, bro. Aiden Ross is chilling. What the fuck is going on here? Nevea, I'm not gonna lie. You look like my boss, Tomas. <laughs> I look like your boss. Like, is your boss a man or a woman? <laughs> he's a man, but he's very attractive. You gay or something? No, but look, I know my look, boss is attractive. You look like a man, like man. Boys? I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you, right? man? Who fuck the fuck you, are you, bitch? Back the fuck. Oh, 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 you out of your mind. Oh my god. Out, you oh out of your fucking god. mind. Who the fuck? She does not man, look like me. Attractive. I mean, she the face kind of does. Why, why does she have a man face on? What the fuck? Is that a girl or a guy? I can't tell. What the fuck? I can't fucking tell. LOL, what is this? What is this, bro? Oh my god. My dad my dad just killed me. No way. <laughs> my dad just killed me. My man Sean, dude, just came in and smoked his son, bro. No fucking way. No way. He, bro, can you imagine dying to your parent? Oh, I would lose composure, bro. I would lose composure. I got to hit up Sean, bro. I got to text Sean and, 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 and send him this clip. Be like, yo, you smoked your son. That's actually fucking comedy, dude. Holy shit. NYSL, do y'all think Prim and Clay can guide Hydra and Neptune to the same success as the 2019 Empire team? What do you guys think, man? Do y'all think Prim and Clay can guide Hydra and Neptune to the same success as the 2019 team? What do you guys think? Maybe. Maybe. I think it's going to be a little bit harder. I think it's going to be a little bit harder. Can they do it? Of course they can. Can they do it? Of course they can. It's definitely going to be harder, though, Chad. It's going to be harder for sure. It's definitely going to be harder. There's no way it's not. Too much comp? Mm, there's a lot of comp. It's going to be hard. But Neptune and Hydra are really talented, man. I mean, bro, if you're looking at all the sub players, bro, on paper, and you're ranking them, right? You're looking at Optic, and you're looking at that Optic Dallas team in Atlanta phase is the top two, right? Phase one, Optic two, in terms of subs. I mean, Neptune and Hydra are pretty high up there, bro. You might, bro, you might even want to put Hydra and Neptune up there in the top two as well. Top three. Who else? In terms of talent, I'm saying. In terms of talent. Simp and BZ exist. I understand that. Who can ace them? Who can ace them are good. Mac and Pred can be good. Bro, there's so many good duos, dude. There's so many. You have Envoy Draza. You have Attach and Standy. You have Who Can Ace Him. You have Simp and Abizi. Fucking Neptune and Hydra. Dude, this is going to be fucking crazy. This year is fucking insane. This year is going to be fucking insane. Dashi and Illy, those aren't sub players, bro. We're talking about sub duels here. Holy shit, bro. Oh, that's like the zombies. Oh, okay. Yes, so, yes, oh, that's sorry. The zombies. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I didn't know what you meant by ghost. I thought, wait, what is that? Oh! Bro, 
this is lit. I'm not what even the gonna fuck? lie, bro. I would have lost score. In the background too, like this shit is lit. Dude, uh, my screen is green. Oh, I just lagged absolute. Who was that? I would have lost. Oh, that was Dennis. For Zuma. Why is it so fucking small? I've been having tingles in my wrist even though I'm 16. It's Sonic Couple Tunnel and I want to switch the keyboard and mouse to help. What do you do or what help? Because I want to play still. And was it hard to use SMG or hand exercises help you? Alright, so here's my experience with the hand injuries, man. For one, you need to make sure that if you have carpal tunnel, man, that's something that you need to make sure you go see a doctor about because you you might need to get treated for that. Um, sometimes there's injuries where you can't do much about them other than get surgery and rehab. Um, if, if it's not as bad yet and, and you're catching it early, I recommend going to a doctor, but they're going to teach you exercises. They're going to teach you hand stretches. They're probably going to recommend physical therapy to gain, you know, strength and to gain shit back into your wrist and your hand and whatever. Um, but I think just icing, uh, after you're done playing, using heat before you start playing and making sure you're stretching before you're playing is the best thing you can do for your hands. The best thing. And if it gets to a point where it's really bad, you definitely got to get it checked out. If you haven't already, I highly recommend getting checked out. Um, I was in and out of the fucking doctor's office. No bullshit. Off work for a week. Got AW in 2021. And Zuma, let's go. I appreciate that, bro. My man's playing fucking AW with the Optic Exosuit suit on. And the fucking Optic Gaming Controller. Look at that. With Zuma open on his other monitor. That's a, hey, that's a real one right there, bro. That's a real one. Model and I can't stop listening to Fly Me to the Moon. Babe, please, you're not a talent just because you watch Zuma and Zinni Gabagool. Hey, we're fucking caught up. We read this yesterday. Gabagool, hey, dog, get the fuck out of here. The Gabagool. Fin Falam.